Hello, Sam. Welcome back to another Limewar cast. Here's your map. A bunch of ocean on the left-hand side, a bunch of ocean on the right-hand side, but more gases and trade routes. Two players today are Keaton901 in blue spawning in this northern mountain range, and John Bolton in red spawning in the forest and going for an immediate five, six, seven factory start. Notice that there's only... Th Four territories that Red has taken off the bat. So you can take six total, but if you save two territories worth of spots, then you get more income at the beginning. So this is why Bolton's been able to get up to now nine racks. Nine racks, losing money, 47 per minute at 248 total income. Keaton's at 272. But one, one thing that's going to happen here is that Red's going to ramp up on infantry which is going to be able to like catapult them to be able to cap quicker and take more land over time in, in a handful of minutes here. Keaton's going for three factories, a barracks behind and a gas in the water. I really like that this was picked immediately from Keaton. This was one of the like pick phase territories that Keaton went for so that they could build a gas without having to cap this thing. And we're going to see how a lot of infantry deal with three factories worth of tanks. There's not all that much land on the map in general. So I wouldn't say either player has like necessarily a way better economic outlook in this game. We'll have to see how many tanks Keaton waits to get before going. I would expect probably six, like no more than nine off of one gas. I wonder if there's enough territories in the water that either player would go for a dock super quickly here. Obviously a dock doesn't help you win on land, so if you build a dock too quickly, it might just be a wasted expense that doesn't have any outcome on the game. But there is a lot of territory out here. And for for John Bolton here, there's a lot of gas. And that's really the only, besides this gas, that's the only gases that are going to be readily available to Bolton. Because this potentially is going to be a contested gas well. Six tanks finished for now for Keaton. who is still leading on John Bolton in the economy. Bolton's still losing money. Are all the barracks even making... Yeah, so they are. You can hear just how many infantry are, are finishing. In these five wide capping lines. So this is something that we saw in a previous video that DT Assassin was doing with these... And and John Joe, in fact, John Joe's you can look him up on YouTube. Also does line war replays. I will link it in the description. But John Joe months ago said, "Here's a strat where you don't actually go for six territories right away. You go for less, and then you build more barracks, and you go into the negative intentionally. But you're gonna have so many units. I mean, just listen to how many are finishing. This is a lot of stuff." And for Keaton, if you walk into into this at this point, it's gonna this gonna be an oppressive number of infantry that are probably gonna be able to body block the tanks. I like that Keaton's going for another barracks. That's super good, and now transitioning to Sam's and artillery. Yeah, and Keaton can't do anything. Has to immediately just kind of dip because it's just too many infantry. Like, the tanks will probably be able to take this many infantry, but you, it's not going to be great trades or anything. And tanks are, are obviously a more expensive and valuable unit than infantry. You don't want to trade super poorly with them. 
This is better for the tanks. So just over 400 income for, for Keaton. And Bolton's at just shy of 400 income. But now starting to make money. Which is important. So this is great for Keaton because the tanks wiped out all that infantry. So now, now Bolton has to kind of like reconstitute the numbers that are going to push through the center of the map. But on the left side of the map, it's a ton of infantry capping. There's no like further developments from either player. Just a little skirmish with the tanks in the center. On the left side of the map, Bolton's in a super good position here. And it's tough to guess what Keaton's going to be able to do with these tanks. Roaming and picking off infantry like this, which is, I assume, what the plan is. Yeah, so like to target this group. It's probably the best that, that Keaton can really do. Give him this many tanks, or this many infantry, pardon me. The artillery, first four artillery pieces for blue are showing up now. Those are going to be super clutch to deal with this many infantry. And the tanks are bugging out of there. I don't know, maybe someone can tell me in the comments. I feel like that's like a decent thing for blue to have happen. Really, given like what the alternatives are. At this point, maybe the tanks could rush on the production, but it's hard to it's hard to know. They just have to be ready to jump on production, I guess. If Bolton jumps on these artillery pieces, this could be pretty good. There's not a, really enough artillery for Keaton to protect this. And that's why Keaton's ripping the tanks back to defend. Regardless, like at least one artillery piece is going to go down here. Four seventy six income for Keaton, five thirty six for Bolton. Who for sure is going to take the left hand side. There's just too many infantry here. This is good for blue at this point. These infantry are definitely stuck. I mean the infantry if they go backwards they're going to run into the tanks. There's a bunch of artillery in front of them. Keaton's still going for artillery out of the factories and dropping down a fourth barracks. Which I think is definitely the correct response to this. And one of the dynamics is that Bolton's kind of pinned on this low tech with A factories. Let's look at the money. I mean, Bolton could transition at this point. And there it is. There's the factory. But there's more tech in Keaton's army, which... There's strengths to this. There's different capabilities. Keaton's able to run around with these tanks. Look at how much value these tanks have been getting. And now this push has the momentum's run out for, for Bolton. Who is likely winning the game at this point. I mean, Keaton's at 500 economy. And Bolton's at nearly 600. So st still looking good for Red. These next few minutes are going to kind of determine what happens, I, I think. I Four barracks, three factories for blue. And still eight barracks, one factory for red. And red has more economy, but this is very close. There's, there's two aspects that players is how much can these artillery do for Keaton? Are they going to get jumped on? Are they able to really get good trades? 
Because it's still eight barracks worth of infantry coming out from red. Which is a substantial amount. And we see on the right hand side of the of the battlefield here, there's a lot of infantry that could start making a push towards this production and at least cause this force to have to like retreat backwards or spread thin or whatever. Second factory from Bolton, which is definitely the play. And so far, Keaton's doing this perfectly with this push. Keeping the artillery nice and consolidated. And not not having anything jump on them in, in large quantities. These tanks can protect this, this flank. And to Bolton's credit, this is... The, the buying of the time and the parrying here is pretty good at the, also. Because Red wants to wait until the second factory's up, for sure. There's no reason for Red to force a fight right now when, when there's a second factory coming online. Potentially even a third factory soon. Right hand side is good for Red. There's defense potential to get a, an offensive going. And tanks on the left side for Keaton are, are, are really the wild card here. If, if Keaton can make these four tanks cap a bunch of territory or at all trade effectively, that would be huge. Very aggressive factory from Bolton. Which I like because I think Bolton's going to take the, the momentum right now. At just over 700 economy, Keaton's at 560. So this factory is meant to not end the game necessarily but it is meant to be aggressive like th there's no way bolton's gonna back up from this mountain range that's the assumption the infantry from bolton are going to the left to deal with the tanks from keaton which is probably very very good for blue because if this was con if this red force continued to get reinforced they likely would be able to just push through at least they would have done better than getting pushed back now at this point. The trade-off, of course, is that these tanks over time are just going to... They're going to get cleaned up for sure. Keaton's now got 600 economy, which is 100 behind their opponent, John Bolton. The John Bolton. You'd never believe that they actually play a blind war, but it's crazy they do. And Keaton's going for a push. And why not? Keaton's in a great position to do this. There's a good unit composition right now. I assume Keaton's still going for artillery, which they are. It's hard to know how to transition if you're Keaton right now. This is a lot of artillery. And Keaton's building a farm. We just heard it. We heard the cow. So you know it's a farm, of course. And I think that's definitely a play. There's no more easy territory for Keaton to cap. Like, pretty much perfect timing for Keaton to take this. But Keaton really has less of the map than, than Red at this point. So, so building the industry is definitely needed. The, infantry, the artillery part of me for blue on the left side of the picture here is probably going to be taken out. If red were to jump on this, that'd at least be like three pieces that are taken out. And the thing that's kind of sketchy is that blue doesn't have a bunch of infantry fodder to stand in front of the artillery to make sure that red's infantry doesn't just jump on the artillery pieces because infantry when they're on top of artillery do decently well as shown here let's see let's see how good this is for red now that red's like actually on top of this so two artillery pieces down relatively quickly and this third one likely will as well This is the cool thing about Line War. You have like multiple battles going on. But there's there's been an overarching narrative to the game. That, that I don't know. But 
I'll have to think about how to formulate that thought a little bit more, but it, it's very cool that we've seen the push and pull in this central area the whole game. The dynamic of how red has a, had a little bit of an advantage on the right-hand side. It's a wild game, and if you've never played it, I encourage you to. It's a lot of fun. Keaton's going for an airport, that's what we heard, the Jets. Bolton's going for another barracks, and these are the tanks of Keaton that are still coming in clutch. I mean, it, these are likely the first four tanks that Keaton built, so you can see the level of play from both players. For Keaton to be able to multitask those the entire time. It's relatively close. Keaton's showing patience by pulling the tanks back. And Keaton's about 100 income less than, than Bolton right now. And I still think this is Bolton's game to lose, so to speak. I mean, this is a ton of infant, er, economy that Red's going to be able to take to further that lead. If Blue can hold out for an, the airport to finish and be able to catch Red off guard because there's no way that uh, Bolton's been making Sam's and continues to only make artillery pieces. So if Keen can come, come out with a bunch of airplanes and kind of surprise Red, that could be a turning point. But as it stands, off of three factories and five barracks, Keaton's gonna start winning this push very hard in the next minute or so, I think. There are five artillery pieces on the right-hand mountain for Bolton. Which is huge to be able to flank the artillery pieces. Artillery pieces flanking artillery pieces, classic. And Bolton's has a move command on these infantry, which is a little bit unfortunate. I understand why. Move commands are great to get on top of artillery when you pinpoint it. But of course, when there's a gazillion things going on in the real-time strategy game, it's hard to remember this. So these infantry are kind of just taking a beating, which maybe could be intentional because now the red artillery is just able to attack blue and blue's too busy attacking infantry that are just standing in the middle of nowhere. The purpose of infantry are fodder, so maybe that is actually intentional. Bolton at 824 in economy, and Keaton's at about 700. Transport jets. From Keaton. And where are these going? Are they going over here? This is wild. Great play from Keaton to do this commando job. The defense line for Keaton is also pretty clutch to make sure that this right flank doesn't fall apart of me. <clears throat> and if Keaton can hold the center of this And buy enough time for these commandos to land and do a bunch of damage. Keaton could win this game still. Even while being behind. Three tanks still just crushing it. And Keaton's actually going to cap this. And build a proxy base. Big war of attrition in the center. Keaton's still just shy of 700 and, and Bolton's at 850 economy. This is a clutch barracks for Keaton to try to reclaim that bottom left side of the map. But Bolton's responding in kind by just going for more barracks to push with. And as we can see, I mean, Red is slowly grinding this down. And we'll almost certainly be able to kill this barracks 
on the left-hand side of the map. Here comes that first helicopter. Some of those air units we're talking about that Blue can surprise Bolton with. I almost... I don't know who's going to win. Straight up. I think Red is still kind of winning this push a little bit. Two barracks now in the proxy location for Keaton. And maybe that's what's going to cause the GG. If, if these get cleaned up, it's a different situation. Then it's still very tough for Keaton to, to come back. I mean, this barracks is good, but oh, it's going to get cleaned up. So that must be what happens. Great ideas, though. Very cool map. The geography of this map made it for a very entertaining game with the mountains on the right-hand side. Two helicopters is legitimately... I mean, it's going to be able to kill a lot of artillery pieces... Bolton's only 130 ahead. I mean, Blue's gonna now start pushing this back. And with two commandos, they're gonna be able to kill these infantry. So one barracks might get up. This one doesn't. Only one tank left. Nah, I totally misjudged it. There's enough artillery here. When also, I mean, this is this is very good reaction time from from Nubs because this could have for sure done a lot of damage if Red wasn't paying attention. Very well played, both players. GG, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Check out the Lime War Discord if you want to learn more about the game. Check out Twitch. I stream on there as Soda Quackers. Same name as on YouTube. Other folks do as well. Otherwise, enjoy your night, day, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner, celebration, whatever it is. Peace.